Welcome to the third tutorial in Beginning Java. In this video, we're going to talk about operators, and specifically, we're going to be talking about math operators. Math operators can be used in your statements to crunch numbers uh, in your Java programs. Let's review. There's several of these that you'll obviously recognize. There's addition operators, subtraction, multiplication operators, and we'll go through each of those right now. If you have not done this already, create a new program. You should know how to do this by now from the first two tutorials. Create a program called Math Operators. Okay, so let's get started here with arithmetic operators. Let's define a integer with a keyword of int. We're going to give this a variable name of score. We're going to say that's equal to 40. On the next line, we're going to say the that score equals score and here's where we use the arithmetic operator plus 10 and again we have to put in our semicolons now you'll get some IntelliSense here that says the assigned value is never used and the reason that is because we need to output this so let's go ahead and do that and we'll say system out dot print and we need to get put the variable name in here that we're going to be printing which is score and there we go so let's run that and you see we get a, a total of 50. So we were totaling the score, which is 40, plus 10. So this is the arithmetic operator, pretty simple. Okay, so let's run through the other operators here, mathematical operators. So for a subtraction operator, we just put in a minus sign here. We'll run the file, and you get 30. Uh, you can also do a division operator we'll run that and 40 divided by 10 should equal 4 and you can also use the multiplication operator so let's go ahead and run that 40 times 10 equals 400 you can also do more complicated uh, expressions we could we could do so for instance we could add we could add multiple operators so we could say uh, 400 plus, and then put this in parenthesis, this will add, uh, it'll, this will add 400 to the score times 10. So if we run that, we'll get an entirely different number here. We'll get 800. So that's pretty much it for mathematical operators. Uh, you can play around with these for a little bit, and we will move on to the next tutorial.